So, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Werner. It's a pleasure to be here today to share with you our success story and how we use AWS. Now, I'm a hematologist. And I, together with my team of 200 employees, take care of patients with leukemia. Approximately every 1.5 minute, someone in this world dies of blood cancer. Each year, leukemia and lymphoma are expected to cause deaths of 500,000 people in the world. So our mission is to find a cure. Now, to do this, we need to first ensure early and correct diagnosis and prompt and targeted treatment. Because of the complexity of the diseases, not a single method will be sufficient to cover all diagnostic aspects. Hence, the gold standard today is the use of a combination of several methods. That means, why is this possible? The genomic revolution that we currently part of is possible because we now have next generation sequencing technologies and a decreasing in sequencing costs. The first human genome cost $3 billion and it took 13 years to be finished. Now, during the last 10 years, cost of sequencing for a single genome has dropped to $1,000. And it is now possible to sequence a human genome within two days. As you can imagine, sequencing of human genomes produce a mass amount of data. So let me give you an idea what that means. A single human genome contains of 3.3 billion base pairs. We have completed the sequencing of 4,200 patients in the last year, producing 2.4 petabytes of data. Although these genomes from each patient share 99% of the genomic information, we have still 4 million bases that are divergent per patient. And we are looking for the somatic mutations that are associated with the development of leukemia. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. The amount of data produced and the computational cost it takes to process has exceeded the capacities of our local infrastructure. So we decided to create for the first time a cloud-based solution with high standards of data security. The unlimited amount of data storage computational power and parallelization helps us to analyze more cases, run more statistical algorithms, and move faster to find a cure. At MLL, we are modifying human DNA by adding a unique barcode to each single patient's DNA. This allows us to run up to 18 patients per genome run, while maintaining still each patient's unique identity by the barcodes. This saves time and helps us to accelerate our research. Now, patient's genome data, as you can imagine, is the most personal health information, and it must be protected by higher standards. MLL has received ISO accreditation for all assays, the highest laboratory isonorms in Europe. And with AWS, we found now a partner that met our highest standards for data security as well, allowing us to ensure patients' data remains anonymous, secure, and compliant, compliant to the rules in the cloud. We have two different demands for data storage. For routine workflows, we need fast processing, prompt reporting, and long-term storage for up to 10 years. For our research workflows, we need dynamic storage that can be assessed and processed rapidly and shared also with research collaborations to expand our research capacity. Now, we've continuously strived also to improve our analysis pipeline 
That means we require multiple reruns of different analysis for optimization. For computing power, we have two requirements as well. First, for our routine workflow, we process up to 500 samples per day, and we have to be ensure a fast turnaround time to start treating patients as quickly as possible. This is guaranteed by massive parallel computing capability of AWS. AWS allows us to take advantage of the FPGA-based F1 instances. This results in a rapid acceleration of our whole genome sequencing process. And as a result, what used to take us 20 hours can now be achieved in only three hours. Secondly, our research data has to be processed in a reasonable amount of time. We use machine learning to do this, combining this information with clinical data. This expands our potential to deliver personalized medicine unique to each patient's genomic identity. Because today's research work will be tomorrow's standard of care. So no matter what the data looks like for me as a doctor, with each step we are closer to providing patients the most comprehensive diagnosis and the most effective treatment with the least side effects resulting in a higher cure rate. And this is our final goal. Thank you.